Hello, my name is Fred from Silicon Technologies, and uh, I'd like to uh, present you right now our newly designed and developed uh, uh, hood, air cube hood, uh, with an exhalation filtration system. The challenge that we face right now uh, with uh, poppers in the market is that majority of the poppers in the market usually uh, filter out inhaled air only. Now, naturally, if you wear uh, so. Poppers in general are like the gold standards for medical practitioners uh, if they want to protect themselves from viruses or bacteria or whatever. Because of course it goes through a HEPA filter, it goes through a, uh, uh, a hose and because uh, with the concept of a popper, it's a positive airflow system, uh, air will always be going outside of the hood. It's not going to go inside of the hood, right? So that's how uh, traditionally uh, poppers work. And of course the problem with poppers also is that uh, you know, given COVID, you know, there's, since there's so many people that are infected by, uh, by the, the virus itself, even uh, doctors have to, pre uh, have to prevent the spread of virus to their patients. And that's the reason why the doctors have to wear um, a surgical mask inside uh, a hood, just to ensure that if they're COVID positive themselves, they don't infect uh, their patients. But, you know, throughout the months, you know, even for myself, you know, I've been wearing uh, my popper, I've been wearing it since uh, April. Almost every day that I go to the office, I go to work, I wear my popper, even if when I'm, while I'm driving, I wear my popper. And when you're wearing your popper for a long period of time uh, and you still have a surgical mask inside, it becomes very uncomfortable, right? So, uh, so now there's the, this is the challenge, right? How do we come up with something so that you don't have to wear a surgical mask or a N95 mask inside your hood to protect uh, other patients from of other people from being infected by you? So, uh, of course, there are challenges, right? What are the challenges? Naturally, when it comes to uh, uh, poppers, as I mentioned, this, this is actually the design of a hood of the popper is usually a loose fitted hood. Now, if you were to compare a loose fitted hood, uh, whether it be a full hood like this or an open ear version hood like this, uh, the design of these things compared to a, uh, a, a full mask like a 3M6800 is that, you know, this is like kind of like a diving mask, right? You know, when you're wearing it in your face, uh, there's absolutely, uh, absolutely no air that goes into, inside your, your face, uh, whether it be positive pressure and negative pressure because it is tight fit. The, the loose fitting, again, since it, the concept behind this is positive air pressure, you don't have to ensure that the, the, the fitting of the hood to your face is very tight because air will always be blowing inside of the hood, so air um, will always go out of the hood, right? So when you're breathing out. So, uh, so we had to come up with a solution, right? So our solution basically is uh, to maximize, of, although you, with a loose fitting hood, you cannot um, ensure that 100% of the, uh, the exhaled air goes out of the, uh, a certain filter, you could at least maximize at least majority of the, the outflow or the exhaled air going out of that filter. So we had to do a bit of math, we had to you know, use a, an anemometer uh, ourselves to measure the airflow, the inflow and the outflow. Uh, and of course we had to do, we had to create different versions, right? We, we came up with a small version before, sort of like a uh, uh, two smaller holes with a uh, HEPA filter inside. Uh, we also uh, uh, tested out with different materials such as surgical mask. So we cut out a surgical mask uh, to install in our uh, exhalation filter system. Uh, and initially when we were coming up with an idea, we actually wanted to have uh, the doctor so that they'd have to spend more uh, just cut out a surgical mask uh, to the size of our exhalation filter system and just uh, stick it here inside because it, you can open up, uh, open this up, put a uh, cut out of a surgical mask and, uh, and install this thing uh, properly. However, when we tested the outflow of a surgical mask, apparently uh, compared to a certified H13 rated 99.97% HEPA filter, a surgical mask surprisingly actually had uh, less uh, airflow going th uh, through it, right? So naturally for, the, for, the, for uh, uh, an open ear hood like this or a full hood like that, you cannot prevent too much uh, blockage of airflow. If not, if so, then air is just gonna seep through other cavities of your hood, 
right? So you have to maintain that. So we later on decided that you know for this for the exhalation filter system to work with a hood, we have to provide the HEPA material ourselves. Unfortunately, uh, again, you can buy you can you use your cutout or something like that. But if you don't wear it properly, if you if you can buy a uh, HEPA filter yourself, good, right? You could cut it out and then paste it in our exhalation filter. But if not, uh, we would recommend that you buy from us. Unfortunately. So what happened is that when we used a surgical mask, a surgical mask material with our exhalation filter, and we tested the outflow, it was it was too low. And apparently, even if you wear this one tightly, you know, if you wear like I'll move my my hood, if you wear this one tightly, and even if there's a garter, you pull it uh, uh, tightly here, just so, so to, to ensure that this is tightly fit. What happens is that because the surgical mask doesn't allow a lot of airflow to go out of it, the flow of air goes through other cavities. So if you're not able to filter out uh, a lot of uh, uh, air with potentially uh, COVID virus, right? So, uh, so th that's kind of like the situation. With, uh, the, the good thing about us is that when we computed based on our H13 rated uh, HEPA filter, and we, if you wear the, the hood properly, and you, you make sure that the garters are uh, tightly fit, uh, then you can reach up to 90% of the exhaled air going out of your HEPA filter. And of course, a HEPA filter can reach up to 99.97% filter system. So you do the math, you could really filter out a lot of uh, exhaled air using that type of setup, right? Now, uh, so, there are three different variants. It doesn't work for all, right? So when you're wearing it for the open ear hood, the, ex the, uh, the HEPA filter, ex exhalation filter system with the open ear hood, the most critical factor is that you really have to uh, uh, tightly wear the, uh, the, the open ear hood to your head so that there's very minimal air going out of, uh, it doesn't seep through uh, different cavities, right? However, when you're using it with an open with a full hood, so there's two ways that doctors wear the full hood, right? One way is that they the skirt itself is just you know placed outside of your uh, PPE gown. If if you wear it uh, like that, where in the skirt this skirt itself is worn outside of the PPE gown, you cannot ensure enough uh, air pressure inside the hood, which means that you you render the HEPA filter kind of useless, unfortunately. Uh, so the only way that you can maximize the exhalation HEPA filter is if you tuck in your skirt inside your PPE gown. Because if you tuck it inside your PPE gown, the air is going to be forced outside of uh, your HEPA filter, which is good. It doesn't balloon too much because sometimes, because we didn't have a hole before, when you tuck it in, your your PPE gown and your hood tends to balloon significantly, right? But in this case, it's gonna go out of your HEPA filter, which is good, which ensures that you would reach uh, H13 rated 99.97% uh, filtration of exhaled air, right? But again, if you wear the skirt outside of your PPE gown, uh, this entire system will not work, right? So you have to be very particular on how you, you, you use it. But again, we don't have, just FYI, uh, right now it's already mid-September, we're planning to launch the exhalation filter system. We're still doing testing right now. Uh, we wanna really optimize it as much as possible. Our objective is to be able to launch this one by probably around uh, mid-October, right? So probably in, in the next two or three weeks, we're gonna launch the, uh, the hood with the exhalation uh, filter system. Uh, but again, I, I, I just wanna stress again that this is not a foolproof uh, exhalation filter system because again this is a loose fitted fitting type of hood um, uh, compared to a tight fitting uh, uh, full mask but then again you have pros and cons right if you wear a tight fitted uh, full mask it's very difficult for you to communicate your voice is very muffled people can see your face if you wear it with this one as long as you wear it properly people can see your face you don't have to wear a surgical mask inside uh, you are uh, optimizing the protection from for other people as well so I think that's very helpful it's not a guarantee we're not we're not making any guarantees of full protection but at least that uh, you're still very conscious uh, to ensure that other people around you don't infect get infected uh, from you 
if you're COVID yourself, COVID positive yourself. Uh, that's it. Again, we're going to launch it by mid-October. We don't have a pricing for this one yet. Uh, probably in the next uh, week, we'll come up with a pricing structure. Our objective is always to make it as affordable as possible for doctors. So usually when we sell, and by the way, this, this hood is applicable for past, uh, existing customers. All you have to do is just buy the hood with the exhalation filter. Uh, and you could use the existing frame that you have, the hood frame inside, with the uh, hood with the exhalation filter. So all you have to buy is literally the hood cover with the exhalation filter system. Uh, that's it. Uh, and again, we're, we're going to come up with the pricing within probably a week's time from now. Uh, and hopefully you would be uh, very interested in it. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that we are making it better for different medical frontliners. Uh, our main objective is really to help other frontliners to uh, make them feel more comfortable uh, with their practices because of course you are engaging with your customers and naturally if people don't see your face inside a, uh, you know inside in, uh, inside your surgical mask then it's very it's not it's you know you cannot really empathize with your customers with your patients. So uh, this is not a perfect system, but I, my our feeling, uh, us as engineers, this is good enough for their protection. Thank you again for watching this video. Uh, watch us on our, uh, you know, please visit us on our Facebook page at Silicon PH, uh, and you know, uh, feel free to call us or inquire through us with our FB Messenger. That's it. Thank you for your time.